Hey, I'm Benji, and I'd like to show you how you can use NPM in your browser without having to install a task runner like Gulp or Grunt. Uh, you might want to do this if you're working on a small project and you're trying to keep your list of dependencies short. It won't take too long to do this whole thing, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a project from scratch. I'm going to create a folder here and call it npm on client. Change into that directory, open it up in brackets, and we're going to create index.html. It's just going to have a reference whoops, to one script, which is going to be called bundle.js. This is where all of our code is going to go and all of the npm module code. And we're going to use something called browserify to take care of that for us. We're also going to create index.js, which is going to be where our code goes. This is our entry point. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and start running a server. Brackets makes that really easy. And we're going to open up uh, and open the console. Uh, which Brackets doesn't like too much. But anyway, this will be where we will prove that our npm modules are working. OK, so we just want to say npm init. Uh, if you use npm at all, you probably are familiar with this. Uh, it's just a wizard. It creates a package.json file for you. And I just hit return a bunch of times because I'm going to use the default values, which will be fine for this demonstration. We need to install Browserify. And we are going to save this as a dev dependency. So now technically, we can use npm in our browser, but it'd be a little cumbersome at this point. We'd have to run a command every time we change a file to rebuild. Uh, so we're going to make that a little bit easier by installing Watchify as a dev dependency as well. And that works with Browserify, keeps an eye on your files, and anytime anything changes, it'll go ahead and build it for you. So the next thing we need to do is update our package.json file. We are using npm on our client without an external task runner like Gulp or Grunt. But what you might not know is npm has a simple task runner built right in, which is really cool. That's this script section of our package.json file. I'm going to go ahead and wipe out the test script. Don't follow my bad example. Test-driven development is like flossing. It's a little painful up front, but in the long run, you'll be glad you did it. Anyhow, we're going to create two new tasks. Uh, one is going to be called build. That one's kind of boring. The other one is going to be called watch. That is the cool thing that Watchify does for us. Uh, so build your, uh, runs Browserify, passes index.js, um, passes your entry point. Whatever your entry point's called, put that here. And then dash o to output to bundle.js. And then uh, watch is similar, but we're going to run Watchify. And again, um, entry point index.js, output bundle.js, and then dash d. So that should be all we need to start running some tasks. I'm going to go ahead and npm install lodash, just to have something that we can use to prove that npm is working in our client. OK, lodash is installed. So now uh, what you do to run task is you say npm run, and then the name of your script. In this case, we're going to say watch. And ta-da! It is now watching any changes to our files. So if we go to index.js, we can say const underscore equals require the lodash, and const r equals and create an array. Uh, this is uh, just based on uh, an example that's in the Browserify documentation. Uh, so then we can say console.log underscore dot meek, and then pass in an array. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us back an array that uh, only has unique values in it. So now Watchify should be doing its job, rebuilding our code for us. If we then go and refresh, look at that, one, two, three. So everything's working. Um, that's all I have to show you today. Uh, this was my first tutorial video, so please uh, leave some comments, some feedback, let me know what you thought. If you guys enjoyed the video, then maybe I'll do some more. Thanks. Have a good one.